Hello and welcome. Well, this is it. This is the grand finale, the absolute final of Web Chef, India's first online hunt for the country's best amateur chef. We have three contestants, we have a great final, we have three chefs. The idea is the three chefs will match their wits with the three contestants and we'll see who's left standing right at the end. So now it's time to meet our three finalists the three brave amateur chefs who fought their way through the smoke to get here. Yuvraj, welcome. Thank you, sir. Madhushri, welcome to Thank the final. Thank you, sir. Sandeep, all set to go? Yes. Right. <laughs> now, I have a surprise for you and for all of you, which is we're not going to do our usual kind of round. You may wonder where our chefs are. Well, they're away. They're in the kitchen. They're preparing. What I thought we'd do is we'd do something very, very different. We would get the chefs to make a dish. Each of them will make one dish. I will assign it to one of you. I won't tell you what's in it, but hey, you guys know what it's about, right? You'll taste it, and then we'll give you the resources of the kitchen and of the ITC Grand Chola, and you reproduce the dish. Sounds fair? Oh, sounds uh, really... Uh, <laughs> sounds it's something new, it's because uh, I haven't come, yeah. something, I have come across something like this. Oh. So what I now have to do is to assign a chef to all of you. Let's start with the lady. And who should I give you? Well, let me assign Massimo to you. Good looking Italian, perfect for a lady. Massimo, welcome. Okay, Massimo, what do we have? Nice risotto with a red radicchio. Okay. Gorgonzola. Wow. He's already told you what there is, so it's not that difficult now, right? Gorgonzola, radicchio, pancetta, that's it. And that's what a parmesan crisp on top. And you'll give her the rice. What rice are we using? Arborio rice. Okay. Yeah. Give you arborio and we give you the stock? Yes, sure. You will get everything. Even I can make that. So that's not so difficult. Great? Yes, sir. Okay, so now we know what Chef Massimo is going to do. A very classic Italian dish. But what is Chef Vikram going to do? If I know Vikram, it won't be classic, but the chances are it'll be quite simple. Who do I assign that to? Sandeep, you want to take on Vikram? I wouldn't mind. All right, okay. Sandeep and Vikram. Where's Chef Vikram? Vikram, welcome. Okay. Actually, that doesn't look that simple. What is it? Right. Uh, a herb Chilean sea bass. That's easy. Sits on a bed of uh, a roasted kabocha mash. Then there is some garlic cream spinach, some miso green tomato ceviche, some saikyo miso ikura, and what I'm going to pour at the end on the table is the miso green tomato ceviche again. Right? It goes over this. Easy? Mm, very easy. <laughs> First he looked incredulous. Now he looks like he's ready to hit you. But I'm sure. But I'm sure it's not. See, you're you're good with fish, right? Yeah, but. <laughs> but I'll tell you something. It's often the easiest dishes that are the most difficult to make. Making a good risotto is like making a good omelette. It's very difficult to get absolutely right. This won't be that difficult. That leaves you one more chef, and let's see what chef. Ajit Bangera is going to do. I'm guessing we've got sort of a rice dish, a fish dish. I'm guessing he's going to do a dessert. Any case, let's see. Please welcome Chef Bangera. Hi, team. Hello. I was right. It is a dessert. Okay, tell us what this probably is. Probably the simplest of the three dishes. This one looks really easy, right? Easy. Okay, it's probably the simplest of the three dishes. Yeah, I think. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it is. A very crumbly. Who's doing this preparing this? Yours or? He, you are there. Yeah, yeah. And he, he said he's very good at the Indian dishes. So there you are. You've said you're very good at Indian dishes. Yeah, but it doesn't yeah, look I'm Indian, Indian to me. <laughs> it looks about as Indian as Massimo, but. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is it? It's, it's a very crumble. And the, the crumble is uh, topped with muesli. Muesli is uh, beer water. Yeah. And it's got a Lugati ice cream on top. And so you've got a berry crumble, muesli ice cream and one chefy decoration. So he's going to have to make the ice cream as well. No, we'll give him a, so a base ice cream. 
So you give this. Kuch bhi nahi hai, yeah. This one is easy. Our plating is my most uh, difficult task. And you just put it in a glass, yeah. Pretend it's a martini. There's not much you have to do with this. I'll try my level best. You have the shot of vodka before you start. <laughs> <laughs> Chef secret. <laughs> All right, now let me give you the rules of the competition. You're going to cook right here in the Pan Asian kitchen. We're going to give you these dishes so you can keep sampling them and trying them to make sure you've got the flavors right. You're going to have a kitchen assistant just as you've had in earlier rounds. You're going to have all the ingredients you need ready and waiting for you at your station. And you're going to have access to state-of-the-art kitchen equipment to cook all of this, everything they have in the Cholas kitchens. Any questions? Yeah. No. So you have 45 minutes to cook. So it's going to be kind of tense. At the end of it, all the chefs will taste your dishes. And of course, the chef whose dish it was will have the final say, but all of us will also get to say what we think of your food. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Let's start. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to ask you to taste the dishes and tell me what you think. Shall we start with you? Because Massimo was the first chef. This is the risotto. Try not to demolish it too much because it looks quite pretty. No, no, honestly, you no, eat it really. I'm joking. I'm, I'm a big fan of Italian food, but I've never eaten a risotto before. You've never eaten a risotto? Well, you're starting at the top then if you're eating Massimo's. So. What flavors are you getting? A lot of cheese. Yes. Uh, there are onions in it. Yes. And the rice, it's it's not too mashy. It, you can you can actually taste the rice. There's a phrase for this, al dente. Al dente. Yes. All right. So the trick with risotto, as Massimo will tell you, and he will judge you, is on not only infusing the flavors into it, also getting the rice al dente, and he will explain that he will judge you on that getting the arborio to give up its own starch so it has this consistency. Yeah, that's the trick. Not so difficult, all right? See you in a minute. Okay, Sandeep, Vikram's incredibly simple dish for you. Here's a knife and fork. Vikram, you want to yes. pour the sauce? Wait, wait, wait. He has to do a chefly touch. Go ahead, enjoy. Try sago, spinach. Spinach. What do you think? What are you getting? Definitely, I'm getting a little bit confused with the Japanese flavors. Okay. He's a Bengali, don't worry too much about that. But I think uh, um, the fish is, uh, and I'm just gonna have another bit for that. Is this because you're trying to work out what it is or because you like it? I like it. You like it, right? It's quite well infused, so it's... That's my job. <laughs> you don't like me, do you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's, it's, it's fantastic and um, I think uh, probably I need to uh, deconstruct it a little bit. I was about to say that. It's a dish that looks complicated. Once you sort of divide it into the constituents, it's not actually that complicated. Try it again before you go off to cook it. The good news is that he's got every ingredient that you will need for this already at your station. So there's no mad scramble through the pantry, clutching a hideously inadequate basket, trying to put it all in. Yes, it won't be that difficult. All right, okay. Lots of luck. Thank you. All right. Yuvraj, come and have a look. Try it. Looks beautiful. It looks great, no? I don't wanna. It's always a child. Take this out. It's always, always seems like such a shame to demolish these things. Yeah. Try it all, huh? He's got three layers to it, so try them all. I'm sorry for being close. No, I know. Can I dig in deeper? Yeah, yeah. Keep. You have to go all the way down to the right at the bottom. I know this flavor. This one. What's the bottom flavor? The berries. Hmm. Stewed berries. So stewed berries, muesli, ice cream. Not that difficult, it just looks to it. 
bis zum Nougat hinausholen. Can I have yeah. this? You try this too. It's all yours, man. Does he have to make this as well? Yeah. He has to make the sugar thing? All right. Nice and crunchy, no? It's great dish. Great, okay. Thank you. We shall see you back to your place.